Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I cannot believe it, but this is episode 80. 80 episodes so far since starting this channel, and I cannot wait until we hit the 100th. We're gonna have to do something special for that. If you guys have ideas, let me know in the comments. But on to today's video. Today I wanna to talk about a very important topic, which is about women taking accountability in different relationship dynamics. As usual, I'm going to show you three different video examples. The last one is actually a video that I produced, which was a shorts video, which I think brings up a very important topic for conversation. And these are things that women, I've seen time and time again on social media, they're not willing to see what they are causing. But what's even crazier to me is that even in the comment sections of these videos, there's so many women that are in support of those women's actions. And there's even sometimes men in there that are justifying and explaining why a woman might act this way. But men, I think that it is so important to know the difference between understanding why somebody might act a certain way and thinking that it's okay or saying that it's okay. Because there's so many examples in my life where I can understand why somebody thinks a certain way and every day on social media, I can absolutely understand the perspective of so many different people, even in the comment section of my videos, but that doesn't mean that I agree. I can disagree, but I can still respect and have an understanding of their perspective. With that being said, this first video starts off with a mother approaching an older man in the grocery store, and she is addressing an accusation that was made by her daughter. So before I say more, let's watch the video. Is that him? Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Did you say that my daughter is rude? Yeah, I did. She gave me the finger. Well, I wouldn't have done that if he wasn't being a slow asshole. Are you serious, Amelia? <laughs> well, listen, whether she's whether she gave you the finger or not, then maybe you should have gotten out of her way. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm old. I'm kind of slow. So that means that you get to tell her she's rude? Well, she's rude. She's rude. But she's not rude. She's only seven. Well, I thought she was being rude. But were you in her way? Probably. So don't you think that maybe you don't own the store just because you're driving a cart? I think that you think all this is funny and it's not funny, sir. Well, I'm her elder and she needs to show me a little respect. Well, maybe you need to not think that you own the store because you're driving a cart. I have to say that this video perfectly explains why it is so difficult for some women to take accountability. It's like it's generational, right? The mom is defending every action of the daughter. And even though the daughter is honest and she says, yes, I did do that. I did stick up my middle finger. The mom sits there and explains why the daughter did it. There is zero behavioral correction, zero apology to the older man. And I just have to say that the child is a child. So she's not the one that is 100% at fault here. It is the mom. The mom is not correcting her child because she's a daughter. And I bet you anything, the lesson would be different if she had a boy. And if there's one thing I know is that if you're a person that really values taking accountability in your life, you cannot stand it when others cannot take accountability. Also, the mom is probably why there is no dad standing there correcting his daughter, which is a whole nother topic of how there's too many single moms out there that push the dads out of their child's life and the result is damages to the children. The second video I'm gonna show you guys is straight up scary, how this divorced woman does not see how her actions were pretty messed up. With that being said, let's just watch the video. Right after I got divorced, I got into a situation with somebody I knew from work. How quickly after the, the divorce? Well, like immediately. Okay. And like we like the day after? Maybe, maybe. Get, sort of, yes. Okay. <laughs> How long are you married? Almost five years. Did you guys ever have any kids? Yes. And you got with this person a day after? Yes, but I thought he was the love of my life. A day after a divorce. 
course. And you thought he'd be living with you? Yes. Like, I thought we were going to be together. We were going to be in love. But then that wasn't the case because he was married. Oh. Which I know it sounds terrible, right? That sounds but terrible. But I thought he was just like the love of my life. And we met under these unusual circumstances, which technically, like, I was married what? too, right? Like, so. Wait a f The day after you were like, hey, I'm divorcing you. Is that how that went? My ex-husband? Yeah. We had like a conversation. And we were like, okay, so it's ending in a divorce. Then yes. the next day, you were with that dude? No, not exactly. But very soon after, yes. But he was married? I was under the impression that he was the same kind of married that I was. Which the like- The same kind? What kind of married is that? Like, That's insane. First of all, I think it's pretty clear that that new man was not in the picture only after the divorce. That man was there. That relationship had started already. And with knowing that and with her responses about that type of marriage, you wonder why so many men out there these days don't believe in marriage. Men don't think that marriage is worth it because of how so many women view it. As if it's okay to just throw your vows out after an hour of deciding that you don't wanna be together. That's how dating is designed, but that is not how marriage is designed. But it's scary, it really is scary how many women this day and age treat it that way. And a lot of them are not willing to look in the mirror and take accountability for their views. Guys, I'll be very interested to know your thoughts on this second video. Please leave it in the comments. And also guys, if you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you catch my videos every Thursday. The third and final video today is one that I created. It is short, sweet, simple, to the point. I think a lot of you guys will be able to relate to this. This is more so about dating and women that are speaking to other men. What happens when she knows that a man is flirting with her? What is her reaction? Because that is very telling. It goes without saying that any man that experiences this with his girlfriend has a right to be upset because she is not setting the boundaries herself. And I bet you anything, that woman knows, she knows that that man is interested in her and she's just labeling it as like, oh, he won't leave me alone. Really? Just tell him, no thanks, not interested, I'm in a relationship. Like most men on both sides, honestly. Men on both sides of that. They respect the candor, so just, tell him very clear what you want what you don't want it's that simple all right guys that is it for today please let me know in the comments what you think what are your experiences with women taking accountability because i definitely think that a large amount of women are very good at taking accountability they're very emotionally mature but i think that where women lack that it tends to be supported by a lot of other women and tends to be supported by social media and really just our culture. I push back against that because I don't think that is for the betterment of women. I think that we have to hold ourselves accountable and we should hold each other accountable as well. But let me know what you think. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next week.